Hello and welcome. Today, we're comparing two of the most popular frameworks in the world of mobile app development, React Native and Flutter. Together, we'll explore which one is more suitable for your needs. Let's dive in. React Native is an open source framework developed by Facebook. It uses JavaScript and allows developers to create apps for both Android and iOS using a single code base. One of React Native's biggest strengths is its vast community and rich library ecosystem. If you're already familiar with React, transitioning to React Native is seamless. Flutter is a framework developed by Google and launched in 2017. It uses the Dart programming language and has a widget-based architecture. Flutter offers great flexibility in design and lets you customize nearly every detail of your app. In terms of performance, Flutter often has the edge. This is because Flutter uses native rendering, meaning it compiles your app directly to machine code that communicates with the device's operating system. React Native, on the other hand, relies on a JavaScript bridge, which can sometimes lead to performance bottlenecks. However, for most applications, this difference is negligible. React Native is easier to learn if you already know JavaScript. Developers with React or JavaScript experience can quickly start building apps with React Native. Flutter requires learning a new language, Dart. But Dart has a clean syntax and is relatively easy to pick up. Additionally, Flutter's widget-based architecture simplifies the process of designing and building app. React Native has been around since 2015, so it has a larger community and a mature ecosystem. It offers extensive support through third-party libraries and plugins. Flutter, while younger, is rapidly growing. With Google's continuous support and detailed documentation, the Flutter community is expanding quickly. Flutter shines when it comes to design flexibility. Its custom widget system enables developers to create modern and highly customizable user interfaces. React Native, on the other hand, relies on native components of the platform. While this helps apps feel more native, it doesn't offer as much customization as Flutter. If your team already knows JavaScript, if you need extensive library support, if you want apps with a more native look and feel, if performance is your priority, if you want to create modern, fully customizable designs, if you want to invest in a Google-supported ecosystem. Both frameworks have their strengths and weaknesses. Choosing the right one depends entirely on your project's requirements and your team's expertise. So, which one do you prefer? React Native or Flutter? Let us know in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel for more content. See you in the next video.